Hello, my name is Michael Peinzit. I'm the department leader for race engineering at AVL Racetech. And in this video, I would like to give you a quick introduction into the software simulation tools and the analysis tools that we're offering for our customers. If you have seen the previous video, then you know that from AVL Racetech, we are offering a software tool chain, which is centered around vehicle dynamic simulation and the subsequent analysis of the data. And I would like to give you a more detailed introduction into those four software pieces. Let me start out with the VSM Race, which is our fully dynamic vehicle simulation, which we can use for various applications. That can be the offline application, which means the PC or laptop application. That can be the cloud application. That can be the use on test beds or even on the driving simulator. I would like to start out with a couple of key facts about the VSM Race software. This software features a fully dynamic solver, so that means we have a proper driver model inside, and the software is specially suitable for racing and passenger car applications with a strong focus on vehicle dynamics and lap time optimization. The VSM Race software has been developed in-house with AVL Racetech. It has been under development for more than 20 years, and its first application was actually to provide a realistic simulation of a wheel slip on an engine test bed. So the birthplace of VSM was actually on the test bed and then it found its way into the other applications. VSM features a parametric model, so that means the whole software is programmed in C++ and in C Sharp. And we have very detailed models with various degrees of complexity, depending on what the customer needs. And we are always real-time capable, which is understandable given that the birthplace of VSM was actually at the testbed, where real-time capability is a must. We are particularly proud of our very sophisticated dynamic driver model and the capabilities for the lap time optimization, which is tire saturation based. So that means we are looking at what percentage of the tire force potential is actually used by the simulation driver. And based on that, we can modify the demand speed for the next simulation step. And finally, for all those different applications, be it the offline simulation, be it the test bed, the driving simulator, or any other application, we always use one single model. So that means once you have set up your model, you have correlated your model, you can use it for all those various applications without the need to redo it or modify it. So that means um, you can run in several targets without any simplification. As you can see in the top right, VSM Race features a C-sharp user interface with a very modular approach. That means inside the software, inside the user interface, you will find the components in a similar fashion as you would on a real car. For example, you will find springs, dampers, anti-roll bars, engine, gearbox, tires, you name it. This modular approach enables us also to replace VSM-specific models with what we call customer models. So that means if a customer has, for example, a tire model or an error model that he has correlated over a long time and developed over a long time, we can easily integrate that in VSM and replace the generic VSM model by the customer model. It is also worth mentioning that VSM can run either locally on a PC or on a laptop, but of course also in the cloud. These days, cloud computing obviously is very powerful and it enables us to provide a huge number of simulation results within a very short time frame. Inside VSM, you will find a large number of pre-configured configurations for either hybrid race cars or fully electric race cars. That means the user basically pulls together his powertrain as it exists in the real car. Then the layout is already defined inside VSM and you only have to parameterize your components. So it's rather easy to set up a simulation model and run the first simulations and get the first results. We have very advanced real-time dynamic vehicle and engine simulation models. One thing that certainly sticks out with VSM is our dynamic driver model, which is obviously very important. As you probably know, when we are looking at vehicle dynamic simulation, at first, it is very important to achieve a good correlation between the simulation data on the one side and the real car data on the other side. This is called correlation. 
To get the correlation right, we obviously need a driver model that is capable of driving the simulated vehicle in a very similar fashion as the real driver on track and at the limit or very close to the limit. That's where our driver model has been developed for more than 20 years and is capable of emulating various driving styles and also replicating what the real driver does in the simulation environment. In conjunction with our tire saturation optimization, which is an iterative approach to optimize the usage of the tire force potential, we can achieve extremely good correlation results within a very short time frame. Also on the powertrain side, we have a very advanced model there, which also caters for turbocharger characteristics and makes sure that the transient power delivery can be simulated in a very similar fashion as it is on the real race car. And finally, I would like to mention that in VSM, we have an automated setup variation where you can tell the system which input parameters you would like to modify and then the job runs automatically and you will be presented the results afterwards. This slide shows you the various applications of the AVL VSM race software. Typically you start at the top left, which is the office or the cloud application. This is where you correlate the model, where you build up the model and make sure what you see in the simulation matches with what you see in the reality. Once you have done that, you can use VSM also for many other purposes. For example, on test beds, on the driving simulator, for software in the loop applications, for hardware in the loop applications, and also for a speciality of AVL, which is the DIL and testbed coupling. The message I would like to bring across with this slide is that once you have set up your model and correlated your model in your offline environment, then you can simply transfer that model to all the other applications without the need to modify the model or to redo it to simplify it. So VSM is always real-time capable. No matter the degree of the complexity that you're using inside the VSM models, we can always use the same model without any simplifications for all the different applications. So that means on the user side, you only have a one-time effort to create and to correlate the model. That brings me straight to our second uh, software tool that I would like to introduce to you. Now, once we have simulated with the vehicle dynamic simulation, what can we do with the data? Somehow we need to look at the data and that's why we have created the tool which is called AVL Drive Race. Drive Race is our data viewing and analysis tool, which means you can on the one hand look at the data in a very conventional fashion in time history or XY plots, or of course distance history. What is very special about Drive Race is that we have the ability to read a huge number of various file formats which are common in motorsports. So that means we can also read files that are coming from the real car or from the testbed or from the driving simulator and makes the tool obviously very easy to use for correlation purposes where we have to overlay data and see where differences are. Now, when we speak about correlation, obviously we can do correlation visually by looking at the comparison of graphs, but also Drive Race features an automated KPI calculation. So those key performance indicators are being calculated automatically for whatever lab you load into the Drive Race software. So that means you can compare the KPIs between the simulation and the real car and the testbed and the driving simulator, which makes it very easy to make sure that the simulation you're conducting achieves realistic and correct results. These features enable you to make a very simple and effective comparison of different setups. Obviously, for example, in the simulation, if you are changing, let's say, a spring stiffness to see what it does to the lap time, to the balance, to the handling, uh, to the end of straight ride height, um, to the tire energy that goes into the vehicle, you can easily do that in the drive race software because it is very easy to overlay data from various sources or from various setups. Drive Race features an auto detection for events and for the subsequent analysis. So that means, for example, Drive Race automatically can detect, to give you an example, um, the cornering events and then in the cornering for each corner of the racetrack, it will look at, for example, the handling, the balance, the stability and the tire energy, among a lot of other parameters which I'm not mentioning here, but which are integrated in the system. The next software I would like to introduce to you is called AVL SimBook Race. 
This software was devised after we started with cloud computing. Cloud computing enabled us to create huge amounts of simulation data within a very short time frame, but obviously the question emerged, how do we make sense of those data? How can we analyze it? How can we help the race engineer at the racetrack find the correct direction for his setup? And for this purpose, we have created this software, the Sim. Simbook is a graphical tool that enables you to compare multiple setups and analyze them. One particular strength of Simbook is that as the engineer, you can actually devise what are supposed to be your outputs. For example, the mechanical balance or the handling or the understeer gradient of your race car. And the system will then tell you what are the required inputs on the setup side to achieve exactly those outputs. So it's a multi-target and fast setup optimization, which was particularly designed to help the race engineer at the racetrack at the weekend to make good setup decisions. The software is capable of loading more than 100,000 different setups at the same time, which enables you to cover a very large, a very, very large space of different setups um, within a very short time frame. And the last tool I would like to introduce to you is called the AVL Kin Solver Race. The Kin Solver is a tool for the suspension kinematics analysis, which uses a multi-body approach and which can be used either as a standalone tool or in conjunction with the AVL VSM race that you have just seen a couple minutes before. We have inside the tool uh, various race car suspension layouts, so you can pick basically your layout, parameterize it, the hard points, and then you get your kinematic results out of the tool very quickly and automated. The very nice feature of this tool is when it's integrated with the VSM race, we can actually use the suspension hard points, the pickup points, inside a job that we want to run in VSM. So that means we can, for example, vary the coordinates of our suspension hard points and then let VSM calculate um, the results. And you will see immediately um, the influence on the lap time on the balance, on the handling, on the tire energy, whatever you want to look at. So this was now the quick summary of the tools that we provide for our customers. But how do they work together? What is the workflow within those tools? And that's what I would like to explain you on the next slides. Typically, the work always starts with the VSM race. Um, as we have said before, this is a tool for the dynamic vehicle simulation, which means we at first need to build our model inside the VSM race and we need to correlate it. That means we input all the data that we have available. We might use the kin solver, the AVL kin solver race to provide the kinematics curves for our model. And once we have set up the model and we run our first simulations, we can start comparing the simulation results with the real car results. And that's what we do in the drive race. Inevitably, initially we will find differences between the real car data and the simulation data. That means we need to go back to the simulation, make some adjustments there, run it again, compare again. This cycle repeats itself until the customer is happy with the correlation and we are sure that what we have in the simulation in the AVL VSM race does the same as the real car on the track. Once we have achieved that, we can set up a job. In a job, we say the system what do we want to change on the setup of the car? For example, the spring stiffness or a ride height or an aero configuration or gearbox ratios, you name it. Everything you can change on the real race car, you can also change inside the simulation. So that's the inputs that we want to change. At the same time, in a job, we define the outputs. So what do we want to see as a result of the simulation? In the easiest case, that's a lap time. But of course, we can also look at handling metrics, balance metrics, tire energy, all those KPIs that the drive race system provides for the customers. This is what the user has to decide. Once the job is finally set up and ready to go, we go compute it. That happens either with the software on the cloud or with the software on the premise or even with your laptop or with the PC that you have. So even in the racetrack on, on a weekend where you have maybe no network connection, you can still run your simulations and get results. Once all the calculations are ready and done, then we are downloading the results and we use the Simbook software to analyze, to look at those results. And by this means, the software helps us to derive the setup decisions for the next session that lies ahead of us. 
So this was a very quick overview on the tools uh, that we have on the software and analysis side on the AVL Racetech side. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much.